How you doing guys? Zane's Heavy Boxing Dosage here, back with another video. And in this video I'd like to give you my prediction for this upcoming fight. It's going down in the lightweight division. It's the return of Devin Haney versus Vasyl Lomachenko. This is a good fight, man. A fight that I'm really looking forward to. You know, um, Devin Haney looking really good in his career so far undefeated you know uh, undisputed as well a light lightweight i mean you know um i think he's really good man fundamentally sound good defense good ring generalship good jabs you know um good footwork as well um in and out of range you know uh, definitely a ring iq is up there with the most best talented boxers today. You get what I'm saying? Um, he's going in there with Vasyl Lomachenko and Lomachenko is really no joke as well, man. He's very talented, a huge amateur background, you know, um, and he's making a lot of noise in the lightweight division, you know, so far, you know, his last win coming against Jermaine Ortiz what Vasyl Lomachenko brings to the table is incredible, man. You know, he's achieved a lot in such a short period of time in his professional career. You get what I'm saying? Moving up in weight classes as well. You know, um, obviously he's lost as well. He's lost against Tiafimo Lopez. You know, um, he's had a good career so far. He's coming towards the end of his career. I wouldn't say he's... he's completely out of it or, or anything like that but he's still a dangerous guy to face you know and if um, Devin Haney is underestimating Lomachenko Lomachenko could win this fight man the odds don't give him enough credit to win this fight but really and truly we know that can all go pear shaped with the odds you know um, I think Vasyl Lomachenko is a live dog in this fight do you get what I mean um he can also intelligently box, you know, even, you know, outthink uh, Devin Haney because his foot speed is very superior to most of these lightweights, I'll be honest with you. And, um, yeah, he's definitely got a big chance of pulling the upset in this fight, you get what I mean? I consider this a real pick and fight, man. Um, obviously Devin Haney's favoured because he's undefeated but that don't mean nothing when it comes to uh, different sort of opponents you know depends what they bring to the table in my opinion he's got a good chance Lomachenko of beating Devin Haney because Devin Haney as we know he's got good fundamentals good boxer he is but he lacks a bit of power you know and I think in this camp he's definitely been working on it looking from his pad sessions and uh the things that he's working on do you get what i'm saying he's definitely trying to impose his will in this fight in my opinion you know but he's also got to mix it up and be careful at the same time because he doesn't want to fall into that trap where he doesn't see shots coming and lomachenko is a good sort of precise puncher man um he can definitely obviously uh throw different punches from different angles you get what i'm saying you know and his foot speed is very good man um i just hope that devin haney he, he uh, focused in this fight take every round as it comes because vasyl lomachenko is an intelligent boxer and he can outthink you and outsmart you as well you get what i'm saying so i think he needs to box behind the jab you know um you know you know what i'm saying he needs to work uh, in and out of range of his footwork uses a little bit of head movement because sometimes you know Lomachenko is the one that's uh, going to have the superior uh, foot advantage you get what I'm saying it's foot speed as well you know hand speed you know so he's got to be very careful in this fight you know? but nonetheless I'm going to go with my final prediction this ain't an easy one because I've been going back and forth you know so you know this is a really hard fight to predict sometimes, you know, because I think of each and every scenario as I make this pick. You get what I'm saying? I just think that Lomachenko, 
uh, he's facing a guy right now whose momentum in his career is in sky high, you know, um, beating George Cambosis Jr. Obviously, Cambosis coming off his biggest win against Tiafimo Lopez, you know, um, that showed me a lot, you know. I think Devin Haney is a very confident fighter. He believes in himself, believes in his skills, you know, and ultimately skills pay the bills at the end of the day. I think he's got a better jab than uh, Devin Haney. I mean, then, then that's all Lomachenko, you know. He keeps it simple, you know, and that's what you really need when it comes to these sort of fights. You know, I think the jab is going to be the slight difference. The fact that he's got a size advantage as well, I expect Devin Haney to fully use that in this fight. Do you get what I'm saying? Lomachenko being the smaller man, moving up and weight as well. Do you get what I mean? So uh, I think that's going to be a really interesting uh, sort of fact that whatever size difference matter at this stage. Do you get what I'm saying? In the lightweight division. But I think it will. You know, I, I see definitely see a difference in size. You know, and uh, who knows? You know, maybe that maybe that size will affect Lomachenko. Maybe as the fight goes on. You know. Um, but I expect that Devin Haney to start off fast here because I think Lomachenko is a slow starter. My final prediction, I'm going to go with Devin Haney to win this fight by points, unanimous decision. Really not confident in this fight, you know, because really and truly anything can happen in this fight. Do you get know what I mean? So if you're going to put some money on anyone, I'd really try and avoid this fight because uh, it's going to be a close one do you get what I'm saying but um, I think that Devin Haney will be just a bit smarter you know using his footwork you know and uh, trying to get Lomachenko's respect as well um, but I think Lomachenko's got a good chance of pulling it off if he uses his footwork becomes a smarter boxer because he needs to make this into a chess match Devin Haney is uh, obviously more powerful and you know bigger size advantage guy in this fight. You know, I think that will play a big factor in the fight. You know, as it goes on. You know, but yeah, I'm gonna go with my final prediction, guys. I'm going with Devin Haney to win this fight on a close points decision, unanimous decision. Let me know your thoughts. You see Vasil Lomachenko pulling off the upset. Because he's very very capable of doing that. You get what I mean? Um, but yeah, man. I'm going to go with my final prediction. Devin Haney by a unanimous decision. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Zane's Every Box and Dosage. I'm out.